Hey guys, it's your girl It's Elise back again with another video. Today I will be talking to you guys things I wish I knew before choosing computer science as my major at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. If you end up liking this video, make sure you like comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications, you know, next time that I upload. Let's get into these things that I wish I knew. The math classes. Woo! Now, I know some of you are probably gonna be like, it's computer science. Did you not expect that you're gonna do math? Like, <laughs> like, I just didn't know it was gonna be a lot of math. I wish I knew. <laughs> There's a lot of classes. It, it, it's a lot. So if you're planning to be a computer science major, calculus, do your study on that stuff because it will come back to haunt you. <laughs> it bites you in the butt, be like, remember me back in high school? Well, I'm back. I do only have one more, thank God. So thank goodness. But I will admit I've never really been that great at math. I never found the strength to like commit to solving a problem or understanding a problem. But now with computer science as my major, that kind of just pushed me as a mathematician, but also as a problem solver as well. Cause now that's like a top thing that even recruiters and my current boss sees in me is that I am a huge problem solver. And I realize that myself as well. It comes with its benefits, but it's just not fun learning about it, so. <laughs> and then freshman year, I wish I was prepared for like very microaggressive comments, sexist comments. Like I just wish I was prepared for that because there was a situation that occurred freshman year. It was not the best situation. It was basically a former white male student that I worked with in my 12-12 class. He just felt like he knew everything. And yeah, maybe he did, but he was just not polite about it. I know that I'm a good programmer, so I'm very vigilant to syntax errors, anything, you name it. After I was done writing a program that I was working on and I ran it, he was next to me to like kind of see what output comes out when I ran it. It came out with the right output and it worked correctly. His comment was, wow, that, that worked? I didn't know it was going to work. He said it in a very nonchalant way and kind of like you were able to figure that out type of questioning, type of comment. I don't even remember how I responded. I think I avoided the response cause it didn't really stick to me like how he was being low key judgmental about his response. It opened my eyes to like, wow, there's some people that don't think I belong here. And I really felt like that for a very long time in my career. That's the thing with being a female and black, you know, in a white male dominated field like computer science. Ladies, we belong here, whether they like it or not. Okay, Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, Dorothy Vaughn made that loud and clear. That was a very eye opener, but it made me stronger, you know, Kelly Conte, what doesn't do you make you stronger? Like it made me stronger. So yeah. <laughs> and then another thing I wish like drilled in my head how hard it was gonna be. Freshman year, that was kind of like a huge wake up call with like the end of 12-12. It's like, I was like, wow, this is like, this is low key hard. I did come in very like, oh, I know this. I got this. I know C++, I know Java. I know, I know when really I don't know. I was like, oh, uh, when it came to a raise, I was like, it's been really hard, but the more you program, the more you are problem solving, the better you get at it. But yeah, I definitely also had my fair share of when it got really, it really got to me. It was freshman year. I would say that was the most lowest low I ever hit with CompSci. I had to do pair programming with him and I'll put a definition of what that is on the screen. And I was getting really frustrated with a problem that I could not understand. We were working with turtles. If you decide to be a comp sci major at UNCC, you'll know what I'm talking about. Turtles are the devil. It got to a point where I was really like getting so hard on myself. I think that's really the primary source of how I got overwhelmed was I was more focused on the fact that I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. But then getting stuck with someone that's surprised of the moments you do get something right, they believe you should have been wrong. It was just such a bad circumstance for me. I got so overwhelmed at some point that I, my eyes were getting watery. Like I literally held my head down because I didn't want people to see that I was almost crying. And the dude was low key being a jerk. He's like, do you want me to help you? So any guys watching this video, please be respectful to females in this field. Cause it's not easy already to being a female period. So for you to come in and judging a woman 
off of her capabilities just because she's a woman but then also for me because I'm black just shows you're part of the problem of this world not trying to drive into the good direction. I want to encourage like any female that's ever had that moment keep your head high try your very best to not give up especially in a field like this because we need people like you. Be consistent with wanting to help you know and that's something like I've came in this field for is wanting to solve problems and help people. All the resources that's on campus for black um, comp sci or um, scientists or engineers. It's a black alliance for black engineers. I wish I knew that like freshman year because I had no idea that existed, but I wish there was better marketing that existed because no one really brought that up like in my first year. I learned about that now, junior year. I'm like, what, that existed? And then another thing I do wanna know is there will be some TAs, which is short for teacher assistants, that may not know what they're doing as well. <laughs> You'll catch that on more in your higher level classes that it's kind of up to you to understand problems and be able to integrate what you've learned in 1212, 2214. I would say the best TAs I've had were in 2214, 3146, which is Intro to Operations Networking. But then when it came to database implementation, I only have one good TA in there. The other TA, he doesn't know what he's doing. The tutoring center at CCI at UNC Charlotte that you can take advantage of in 1213, 1212, they're very helpful. Then also, this is down to like the jobs when it comes to recruiters. A top thing that has been reoccurring with some recruiters I've talked with in the past, they're definitely looking for people that are very into like projects, especially outside the classroom, because that just showcases how you are implementing what you've learned in class and you're solving real life problems. So definitely try to find time to make your own project. So like for data science students, like taking specific data and making a database with that. It would be cool like to have your own portfolio of projects you've done, get a GitHub, that's very cool to have. Definitely incorporate that on a LinkedIn so they can find you and see all the work you've done. So that's definitely very important. All I have to say is there is a place for everyone in CCI. We need all walks of life in CCI, especially with how very vast and technology is changing every day. We need more people that are able to see problems that other people probably can't see. That includes black people, people part of the LGBTQ plus community, people in the Asian community. It's important for everyone to be on board. And for those that are in power, it's important for them to make room <laughs> for people like me and you to be in the room where it happens. Sorry, I had to put that Hamilton reference. But yeah, it's important for us to be in the room where it happens and make stuff happen. That's pretty much all the tips I got for what I wish I knew before majoring CCI. I don't regret anything with becoming a CCI major. It's only made me stronger as an individual data scientist and as a woman, and especially as a black woman. It made me stronger and helped me appreciate all of the women in the past of my people that have basically paved the way for girls like me to be sitting here and saying, you know, I'm a woman in computing, do something about it. Oh, you can't because I'm here and I'm here to stay. If you literally don't feel like you do belong in here, I want you to ask why. Just ask why to yourself. Like, why do you think you don't belong in here? There could be something that you think is so small could be so big in this community. It doesn't hurt to try to at least see this as an opportunity, whether it's you seeing this as a minor for your career or seeing this as taking some coding classes like on Code Academy or Code.org. Like it's the small stuff, you know, that matters. If you guys have any questions about me being a woman in ComSci, definitely DM me on my Instagram. It's linked always down below in the description box. And shout out to any of my females that are in this field. You're doing awesome, girl. Keep going, keep being awesome, keep being smart and great. So yeah, guys, that's a wrap for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. And that is a wrap on its lease, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.